Greetings, fellow Watford fans. Omar here, and it's time for the Yuan's Friday Focus. Yes, this is the first time this season that Watford will actually get to play on a Saturday. This Friday Focus is for Preston North End against Watford, as I said, on Saturday. That would be tomorrow. Uh, Watford make another trip, this time once again north and further north to the Merseyside area in Lancashire to take on the Preston North End team that has yet to concede a goal in the championship this season. They've only scored once, however, themselves at the same time. Three nil-nil draws to start with for Preston, including a nil-nil draw against Rotherham the last time out up at Deepdale, where Watford will be tomorrow. Preston have had one one-nil victory this season. Watford have had two. And Watford will try to continue their run unbeaten, just like Preston are to start this season after four championship games. This should be an exciting and fast-paced game tomorrow between these two unbeaten sides. Preston have a lot of danger all over their pitch. They've got some very talented players who move the ball quickly, who keep possession well, and also do some high pressing. They are quite a dynamic unit, Preston, and with their home crowd behind them, they will be a force and a factor that Watford, I think, will have a lot of difficulty with if they don't get their defensive bearings correct early on. They will have in Preston dangerous, dangerous players. Daniel Johnson is one of them. Emil Reese is another of them. Brady Potts is another of them. I can go on and on and on. Robbie Brady, we remember him, a former Burnley and Norwich player from the Premier League. He now makes his home with Preston North End. They've got a pretty good manager too in Ryan Lowe. They are a good, good team, and they will be a force to be reckoned with, and Watford will have to come out compact, disciplined, sharp. It may be that Emil, uh, Emil it may be that Ismail Assad gets to play this game, but I have a fe sneaky feeling that he'll be on the bench for this game. I think Watford will be with their regular 3-5-2 formation again. No Hassan Kamara. He is suspended the second of his three-game ban. There will be an appearance, no doubt, from, I think, Raymond I. I think Raymond I might be the kind of player who unlocks this kind of a game. Although, he probably won't start. Maybe Bio will get the start in a game that requires, as I said, a lot of fast pace and a lot of movement of the ball. And I think you're going to get Watford's fastest players in this starting lineup in that 3-5-2 or 3-4-1-2, whichever you prefer. I look to see Chowdhury being a factor physical in that midfield. I think Watford, though, in a game that I think is going to be fast-paced, if they can kind of take the sting out of Preston and all that pressure that Preston will be applying the first 15 to 20 minutes, then I think that they can turn the tables and then start to exact some good counter-attacking football because I think what you're going to be looking at tomorrow is counter-attacking football from Watford, although this, again, could well be end-to-end -end stuff. I think that is exactly what... Watford are capable of, but they can't do it all 93 or 4 minutes that this game will go on. It's going to be a very exciting, spirited game. I don't think it's going to be as physical as some of the games have been this season for Watford. But this one will be a battle of two teams early on doing very well indeed at the top end of the championship table. I think Watford now will have to be able to finish more clinically. That is the key for them. I think this game will come down to finishing, not necessarily the midfield battle, but to tempo and also to defensive pressure. Again, if Watford play a high line here, it could be a very dangerous risk. Preston, a very fleet afoot. They've got a number of strikers who can run off the shoulder of the last defender. They don't necessarily have that big, bad target man, if you will. They like to play their football a lot more on the ground. So they're going to be ball to feet, I think, for much of this contest. I mean, I'm sure they may have a target, man, but I don't think that's Preston's game. They like to be full-on attacking football, a la Bournemouth, a team that just continues to be relentless no matter what the score. And at deep Dell tomorrow, I think there's going to be plenty of that from the home team. Watford are going to have to be patient and disciplined, as always, in their defensive scheme, and they're going to have to stay compact as well. I do think it's going to be three at the back for Watford. I think that's probably what Rob Edwards will be doing tomorrow. And I also think, as I said, the key will be finishing. The chance that Lacoon Bio had against Birmingham the other night has to go in tomorrow at Preston. 
He cannot afford to make a mistake here because, again, on the road, you only get so many chances when they are presented to you. You have to finish them off. And Bakun Bio, should he start tomorrow, will have to do that for Watford at the first time of asking. Yes, sir, Aspria, I expect him to make another start for Watford in attacking midfield. He was marvellous the other day. Maybe, just maybe, Joseph Hung Hungbo might get a bit more playing time as well. Keenan Davis, I think, will be more involved in this game than he was in the game against Birmingham. Because I do think, at some point, if you can start to neutralise that attack from Preston and turn things around and, and slow the pace down, I think it actually is more to Watford's advantage. But, but, speaking of that, I should emphasise something that you as Watford fans already know is that Rob Edwards loves to run and he loves to set his guys loose on the pitch. Fast-paced, dynamic, attacking. And I think this will be a really entertaining game to watch. I really don't know where this one's going to go. If I had to say, I think Watford could just shade it, but it wouldn't at all surprise me if Preston and Watford battled to a 1-1 draw on uh, the occasion tomorrow at Deepdale. I'm backing Watford for a narrow win in this one though that is going to be my final word on it and it should be an exciting contest at Deepdale. It's going to be quite an atmosphere there. I hope that Watford are able to deal with it. This has been the New Orleans Friday Focus.